Good day. In today's video we will be looking at GBC 590 feature extraction enhancement. We will focus on the multi-feature code support for feature extraction in TBC. Let's now have a look at the multi-feature code support in feature extraction. As you can see I have a point cloud loaded and it's already been classified. We will switch off everything and then just leave on the poles and refinement option here. If you go into 3D view, we can see we have quite a bit of data around here. Here we go. So let's go to the point cloud tab and then extract point feature. We will select the posts, go to automatic. And then in the feature code library I already have uploaded, I will just choose the light post one for now. Light pole, there we go. And then obviously I can map the correct settings here to match up with what we're going to extract. There we go. Now we'll do the extraction. Once the extraction is complete, we will go into the QC process and there we will be able to change the feature code if needed for the specific extracted point. You can track the progress at the bottom of TBC with the progress bar. Always remember it's much quicker to do the extraction if you only leave on the specific point cloud region that you would like to extract. So for high vegetation just leave that registration on to make it easier for the routine to run through. Let's have a look at our first point. Here you can see there the extraction was done. That we will leave as is and let's jump around to something that is not a light post. That's not a good example. Let's have a look where we have something that can work for that. I think this will do the job. No, let's continue. There we go. Let's say this was something different and not a light post. So what you can do now is you can actually go and update the feature code for just this specific point. Go there and let's go to what else do we have here that we can utilize. Let's say that was an iron rod. It's survey control. That's 100% fine. There we go. Simply add it like that. And now your feature code has been updated. You can now continue on. And let's find another point. Let's say this was also not a lamppost. Again, simply remove the feature code that you have selected and go look for another feature code that you would like to use for this specific one. I will go with power pole for this one, accept it. You can still choose the correct mapping options here for the height, pole inclination, all that, if that is part of your points attributes. And so we can continue to all the other points. Once you're done, simply click on add. And then just make sure everything is the minimum setting here. We'll just quickly run through that. And now it tells you there is nothing mapped for that specific code. You can just proceed without mapping. And we will do the same for that one. Just update that height. Proceed without mapping. Here we go. Here we go. And as you can see, now if we look at that point, you can see that was made a different feature code. 
And if we click on the properties for point 19, you will see that feature code was updated to Power Pole, where all the others go okay, to point 20 is still as a lightning post. So that's the new enhancement where you can change your feature code for your feature extraction using during the QA QC process.